Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 124th installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. I've recently released a little bit of merch, so finally, you can have that poster in your very own home. A giant, non-creepy poster of my face can adorn your living room wall. Here's a link. I'm also releasing a sticker, an apron, and a punchy pillow to start. Later on, we're gonna have better merch that has a bunch of my sayings and whatnot on it. This is just a preliminary run. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a beautiful plus size girly on Halloween. You did not read that correctly. It says, what I eat in a day as a beautiful plus size girly on Halloween. Since it was Halloween, I felt like I needed something pumpkin, so I had a pumpkin coffee. I've been trying this new International Delight Zero Sugar Creamer, and I love it. Mainly, I just love that it doesn't make me feel weird after, though. That I had to add some... Yeah, that's always a plus. I wouldn't want creamer that makes me feel weird afterwards, either. Some pumpkin whipped topping and some white chocolate drizzle on top. Okay, so you don't like coffee at all. Dude, look at all of this. This got me in the Halloween mood. Then I... <laughs> This got me in the Halloween mood. Yeah, dude, all those sweets will get anybody in the Halloween mood. The Halloween mood equals a diabetic coma. Okay, so there was coffee, there was zero sugar creamer, there was whipped cream, chocolate drizzle, got her in the Halloween mood. I'm just writing it like that. We saw all the crazy stuff that was in there. Mood. Then I had a brunch, which was a sausage, egg and cheese scramble bowl and some fries. I also had ketchup to dip my fries in. I needed a water, so I had an orange water. Oh my gosh. For a second there, I thought you were actually going to have a water. <laughs> you know that flavor packet is coming in from the side anytime water is mentioned. So I decided to have a water. A cupcake flavored water, of course. Again, to go with the Halloween theme. My husband and I realized... My favorite part about water is when it's orange and not at all water. That's my favorite kind of water. Again, to go with the Halloween theme. My husband and I realized we like Reese's sticks, so for our- Reese's sticks. It's Reese's sticks, not Reese's. For Halloween treat, we decided to get a Reese's sticks and split it. So I had two pieces of the Reese's sticks. All right, when she said Reese's sticks, for some reason I was thinking of Kit Kats or something small like that. These are enormous, dude. Reese's sticks, more like Reese's baseball bats. And he had two. And he had to. Tastes just like the Nutty Buddies, but so much better. And I had coffee at 8 p.m. And I, I don't really like those wafers that they put in various chocolates. I realized that was a bad idea because I was up to like two. Whoa, hold on. And I had coffee at 8 p.m. Oh, you had another blood sugar spike coffee at 8 p.m. Okay. And I realized that was a bad idea because I was up to like two. <laughs> Yeah, that 8 p.m. coffee is probably not a good idea if you want to go to bed. I had to have some Halloween candy, so I had an Almond Joy. Then after trick-or-treating, I had some nacho. I had probably three quarters of that. Then who doesn't end the day with some Halloween candy? Okay, and then we had some more Halloween candy, because who doesn't end the day with more Halloween candy? Candy. Then I had some water while watching the new Wizards of Waverly Place. Happy Halloween! All right, happy Halloween. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a coffee, which consisted of a zero sugar creamer and a ton of whipped cream, as well as various pumpkin flavorings and God knows what else. After that, you had a sausage, egg, and cheese with fries combo. And then later on, you decided to quit messing around and have an orange water. And then after that, you had some Reese's sticks. Further on into the evening, you had an almond joy. And then you had some nachos, and you wrapped up the evening by having more Halloween candy. All right, after very little deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 10. All right, I'm sure we could all see that coming, right? You started the day off with a blood sugar spike, and you ended the day with more Halloween candy. 
We call that a blood sugar spike sandwich. Blood sugar spike, other crap, blood sugar spike on top. To increase your score, I would recommend not adding a bunch of sugary stuff or other sweet stuff to your coffee in the morning. Just have a regular black coffee. The sausage, egg, and cheese thing was okay. Although I don't think that you made that yourself. I think that was some sort of frozen pre-made thing. And obviously I would ditch the orange water and all of that candy. I know it was Halloween, so that's probably why we went off the rails. Next. What I eat in a day as a fatty. Spinach, egg, white, and cheese breakfast, burrito, and chicken sausage. All right, now that looks like a good brekkie. You've got all of your food groups covered here. You got a heavy focus on protein. You got some spinach in there. You got some carbs via the tortilla. And cheese breakfast, burrito, and chicken sausage. And then a Danish that's bigger than your whole hand. Blueberry cheese Danish. No! I mean, that looks pretty good. Honestly, that Danish looks insane. Get it away from me! I haven't had a Danish in a minute. Hard-boiled eggs with sriracha. All right, we're getting a lot of protein. Oh, it's funny that I mentioned that because the next thing is protein chips and cottage cheese. Caramel cashew protein bar. Chicken, green beans, roasted beets, and sweet potato. Okay, bye. Okay, love you too, but... Oh, you didn't say love you too. All right, whatever then. Fine, I don't love you too, bye. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a very dope breakfast indeed, which consisted of a spinach, egg white, and cheese burrito with some chicken sausage on the side. Although after that, you had a blueberry cheese danish, which I do not recommend. Then you had some hard-boiled eggs with sriracha. Later on into the day, you decided to have some protein chips with cottage cheese, and then a caramel cashew protein bar. Then further on into the evening for presumably dinner, you had some chicken, green beans, roasted beets, and sweet potato, a very good dinner as well. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 10. There were a lot of good meals in there with a heavy focus on protein. To increase your score, I would get rid of the blueberry cheese danish, of course, and get rid of the caramel cashew protein bar. Next. What I eat in a day as a fat person who doesn't want to lose weight. The you wouldn't, even if given a choice to push a button and instantly lose weight, we would not, okay? The first thing I have every morning is a cup of coffee because I do in fact have a caffeine addiction. Ditto. Hold on, let me see the hue of that coffee. Of coffee because I do in fact have a caffeine addiction. That was not black coffee. For brekkie, I had oatmeal with bananas and walnuts because I was craving something warm and hearty. All right, you also call it brekkie. That's a pretty good brekkie. It would be a lot better if we added some protein to it. Bananas and walnuts. Yeah, dude, you put a couple eggs on the side with this. This is a really good brekkie. That's because I was craving something warm and hearty. For lunch, I was really craving a chicken sandwich. Vegetarian, of course, so... They often talk about what they're craving. You know what I'm craving? Food that is good for my body, and I don't give a damn how it tastes. I woke up and started craving food that was a proper fuel source for my body that would help me on my fitness journey. That, that's what I was craving. I had a real hankering for that. <laughs> I woke up and I had a craving for food that would fuel my body properly throughout the entire day. You ever wake up and have a craving for that? No? Okay. Craving a chicken sandwich? Vegetarian, of course. You were craving a chicken sandwich. Vegetarian, of course. Okay, so you were not craving a chicken sandwich. You were craving lettuce, cheese, and some bread. Right? <laughs> you were craving tofu, lettuce, and grains. 
So I made that with a side of grapes. Remember how I said I have a caffeine addiction? Yeah, I had to have my afternoon cup of iced coffee. I'm with it. Let's see, what is in this sandwich though? Just a carb and lettuce sandwich? Vegetarian, of course. So I made- What even is that? You said it's a chicken sandwich, sans the chicken. So some sort of tofu based fake meat in bread? Made that with a side of grapes. Some grizz apes. Remember how I said I have a caffeine addiction? Yeah, I had to have my afternoon cup of iced coffee. I see that there is also sugar and or cream in that. Well, I mean, I can't see the sugar, but... I also had a slice of toast because I was just really craving bread and then... Okay. <laughs> Okay, is that regular toast, or did you put cinnamon and sugar on there? Toast, because I was just really craving bread, and then for dinner, I made barbecue tofu with green beans and smashed potatoes. I don't know why she called the mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I'm not gonna do that. You're flouting all convention by calling them smashed potatoes. How dare you get out? Get out! Sorry, I'm very passionate about potatoes. A lot of people don't know that about me. Don't you ever bring up some random topic around me. I might start screaming and freaking out. No, I'm just kidding. And I had Greek yogurt for dessert. That was one of those ones where you flip the lid over like that and put all these carbs on top of the yogurt. Oh, it's so festive. I sound really bitter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Geek yogurt, whoops. And that's all she ate, baby. And that's all she ate. All right, let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with coffee. I believe it had some sugar and cream in it. So that's a blood sugar spike straight to the dome piece. Definitely don't recommend that first thing in the morning. And then with it, you had a brekkie, which consisted of oatmeal, bananas, and some walnuts. After that, you had a fake chicken sandwich and some grapes. And then you had an iced coffee. Further on into the day, you decided to have some toast. And then for dinner, you had some tofu, green beans, mashed potatoes, and Greek yogurt. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a... 4 out of 10. To increase your score, I would not have sugar first thing in the morning with that coffee. I would have additional protein sources with that oatmeal thing. And I would add a lot more protein to my other meals as well. Like I said, I'm selling merch now, so please be sure to check out my merch store where you can get a giant poster of my face that is not at all creepy to put in your own living room. Confuse and scare your pets, neighbors, and friends by buying one of these posters today. So what do you think of my scores? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.